Hello, hi. How's it going? Uh, I'm Dave, and we're going to make a $2 salmon loaf today. I know that sounds amazing. We have a can of pink salmon that was purchased in 2012, and it's got an expiration date of 2014 on it. Now, that means that we're going to eat it. Yeah. Don't throw your cans away. Even the U.S. government is saying, don't throw your cans away. You can use everything in here. I don't eat the bones. I compost the bones. But pink salmon that I bought, I got it for 99 cents. All right? Now, you can still get a can of mackerel for 99 cents at the dollar store right now. And I would recommend that you stock up on that stuff. I'm not kidding. No, this is good quality canned food. It's perfectly fine. I picked up some sweet peas a couple of years ago, only about a year ago, and I'm gonna open up a can. I got these wholesale for 50 cents. You can buy these wholesale for 50 cents. They're readily available. Safeway has a deal right now in my area. Uh, two for one dollar uh, with a coupon. See, two for one. So. Now we have 50 cents to spare. I also have some organic bread that I picked up for $2.50. Now this is organic nine grain. Yeah, this is organic nine grain. This is going in the salmon loaf, not the whole loaf. <laughs> this is not going in the, this would make enough food for two pieces of this. Now, not, not a lot of people like the, the heel slice. So what better way to use a heel slice than to create breadcrumbs. Hey, hey, we're doing the show all the way though. This is just the beginning. We're going to 2020. You know that. Okay. So it doesn't have to be a big slice and then get another slice that's fairly big to offset that. Okay. We're going to use our, our fancy general electric toaster here. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Pull back. We're going to load that toaster down. It helps to plug it in, put it on there and, and kind of put it on a, on a kind of a, a good medium setting right in the middle. All right. This I store back in the refrigerator. In fact, let me give you a better picture of that. Thank you. And thanks for coming in everybody. This is a uh, great, this, this also calls for two eggs. So for two eggs, two pieces of bread, we're not looking at more than 50 cents. That's how cheap breakfast can be if you're really hungry. You trash the hill slices? No, no, no. Don't put them in a uh, put them in a kind of a box or a brown bag, and then and then just let them sit, and they get stale, and they work better than the toasted version that I'm making right now. So I'm using a little energy. But the kind of breadcrumbs you buy at the market, this takes about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. This recipe, and two eggs. The kind of breadcrumbs you might you buy at the market are actually uh, pretty salty. They add a lot of things and stabilizers and preservatives and stuff. So I went with organic non-GMO bread. Yeah, I'm just show that bread who's the boss. So we're going to cut that bread up and make breadcrumbs with a knife. See that? Now, yesterday at five o'clock, I was pretty pissed off. And I would like to apologize to all of you who voted for Trump calling you a pivo, a pedo and a perv. Yeah, I'd like to apologize, all of you. You're not the pedo perv, okay? The guy you elected may be, and that's an emphasis on maybe. We're not sure yet. But the, the stories of, by women are not gonna go away. Now, if we start to see people dying off, like with the Clinton body count, which by the way, Trump has not mentioned. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be talking about a lot of things to deal with. Historically, we're dealing with the two most corrupt administrations in U.S. history, the Democrats and Republicans. You can say, hey, 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 sexy lady. Yeah. So I'm holding the mic up because I don't have a lavalier mic. I'm going to wait on buying one of those because this one cost me $31 made in China. And it even had a stand. See that? 
Okay, the toast is almost done. Yippee! We'll wait for that to pop up. This kind of toaster is really cool. It has various settings. It has bagel settings and frozen settings. Oh, there it is. It's up. You know, I'm going to put this mic down. And then you can hear me from afar. I also put a, a, an onion and some carrots in this dish. And I don't consider these very expensive. I picked up some organic carrots uh, a while back. And I'm going to... I'm just going to use two carrots and a half an onion. In fact, I might even have a half onion in the refrigerator. Hello. I do, I do. I do, I do. Yeah, I have a half an onion already. You eat every two to three days for balance out. You're pretty smart. You know, they say that uh, cutting your, your calories will really help extend your life, actually. I cut my calories considerably, and gosh, I, I think I got about 20 years younger. I don't know how I did it, but. Actually, my operating system does not require more than a certain amount of hydrogen. All right, so now for uh, further information. Let's start with the carrots and the onion and you. Hey, I want to thank all you chatters for being pretty kind tonight. Thank you. All right. I, I'm frozen. Trump should bump up everything, you know, he's smart. Or he wants to be smart. You're all bloaty and farty. Hey, is my video signal coming in okay? You tell me if it doesn't, doesn't come in, okay? All right, we're gonna do a little peel in here. And that's, that toast is just sitting in the toaster, so it doesn't need to worry. It's fine. But we've already done quite a bit with that toast in the toaster. For some of you who really don't like to cook, this is pretty minimalistic. Okay, one carrot peel, yay, right on. Hey, 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 hey. I, exactly, I was gonna say. And you know, to think that I'm more than three times that age, it's amazing. A long, long time ago, outside the Appomattox in the final days of the Civil War, my mother, God love her, gave birth to me. Born in the Civil War. Pretty cool. Now I want you to shave these really, really thin. You see how I'm doing that? And don't hold your fingers underneath the knife. Put them away. Like make a claw to hold it down. Now I'm making them really wafer thin so that they'll cook fairly fast and put all those fresh natural vitamins into the loaf, the salmon loaf. Yeah, right on. All righty. Done, 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 Okay, good. Making a salmon loaf is pretty basic and I am gonna use the microwave. You can bake it in a toaster oven, but it takes like 10 times longer. Okay, same with the onion, and I dice it pretty thin. Nice and uh, really tight eighth inch cuts. And then walk away because it's gonna be affecting your eyes in about one, two, three seconds. There we go. All right. Hey, I don't, I really don't appreciate you talking about my mother that way. Yeah, you've been banned, guest. He's gonna have a little harder time refreshing that screen. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have going on here. I know, I don't have gray hair. No, it look, 
Take a look at my hair. That's about as yellow as it gets. All right, now we do have to make those breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna take the toast and do the same thing. And I'm gonna cut it in quarter inch slots. A little bit bigger than the uh, vegetables. You notice how I did, I did not touch my hair and then touch the food, you notice that? I know that you would, you'd say something, right? I'd be cross-contaminating the... Yeah, it's really the bright light. Do you mind if I turn this off? And that's much better. <laughs> yeah, how's that look? How'd you like that, huh? Hold on. Is that better? turn on my backup emergency light that's in case of emergency so you're imagine yourself hunkering down you're you got two dollars left to your name and you and all you got is a can of salmon or mackerel all right no turn light on oh so now you want me to waste waste electricity just to show you i'm going to turn the general light on now these are leds That light does nothing. Okay, I'll turn the original light on. Now you're really burning energy. I've got three eight watt bulbs going here. You realize that's like 24, 24 watts? Wow. And I got two 25 watts here. This is like 50 watts. I'm burning like 76 watts right now. Do you have any idea how inefficient that is? Yeah. You just went from 18 watts originally now we're up to like 60 70 76 watts okay i gotta do one more piece of toast i know what you're saying you're saying is this guy ever gonna cook yes i am hold on little quarter inch slices here look at how nice that looks I can almost say, take a picture here and show you the beauty of cooking. Okay, you see these things? They're really, really bad. They're like the worst thing you could possibly uh, cook with. They are microwave proof. But I don't mind putting something cold in it to make a mold out of it. So when I get these things from Hillshire Farms, I can make a nice mold out of it. So I'm going to put all of this ingredient in there. All right. See that? Actually, I don't think I can do that. I'm going to rethink this. Hang on. I'm going to bigger bowl. Nice, huh? Okay. these ingredients in here but the mold idea is going to happen I am going to do that now if you need a, a portable breadboard or something to cook on what I've been doing if you're on the fly and you're at a motel or something and you, you want to make this in a microwave I'm serious this is like the best travel food ever not, not that kind of a mold we're talking about we're not talking about fungus among us we're talking about hang on let me more, get more intimate since we're talking about fungus among us. Now, the mold I'm talking about is a mold. To, it's kind of like a, a, something to press into. And we're not going to cook with this, but we could. I don't recommend it. All right, we've got to crack these cans open. So let me go ahead and get the mic up here. All right. Okay, everybody, let's make this happen. Good. 
if you want to make a, a, a breadboard or something to put things on, you can certainly use these plastic bags that come in in cereal containers. I don't recommend doing that though if you don't want to. All right, so we're going to crack these cans open. What I like to do is rinse the peas out completely. So, you know, just kind of rotate them around. There you go. And just drain them out. There's a little bit of salt in there that you don't really need. So, you know, you might want to just kind of like drain them in the sink. And then rinse them out with some filtered water if you have filtered water. Tap water will do. And give it a little shake. That gets the salts and kind of some of the some of the unusual preservatives they use in canned food out of there. But peas are a really good source of protein and vegetable at the same time. My family has been very familiar with peas for centuries. All right. We're going to open this can of, of salmon. And this is from 2014 expiration. And it will be fine. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Wow, look at that. Okay, preserve the juices. And here we can use it. it smells like it just got, got caught. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna put it right in that in that big mold thing. Wow, it smells as fresh as a, the day it was pulled out of the ocean, right after uh, the Valdez uh, crash or whatever. All right, so we're gonna open that up. You can see it pretty much. And you're gonna see a bone in there. You wanna pull that bone out. Try not, try not to pull it out in little teeny pieces. Pull it out all at once if you can. I don't like the bone in a loaf. It's just the, the etiquette of the whole thing is uh, it's lost. It's just gross. And there may be a second bone, just kind of poke around. All right, we're good. This, the one bone is good. That's just one bone, yeah. Okay, now pour those peas on top of that mix. Okay. And then pour the whole thing in the bowl that you're mixing in. Just stick it all in there. Stick it in. Well, I don't love expired food. I'm teaching you how to survive the coming apocalypse with Donald Trump as your president, who's not going to make America great. He's going to bankrupt our country even worse. I'm just helping you guys realize the worst possible scenario. So deal with it. You might be hopeful, but I'm not. All right. We're going to take two eggs and crack them into that mix. You know, I think I have enough for one more egg. So I'm going to get a third egg in there. I might even have more loaves than I think here. I've been getting deals on eggs that are 50 cents a piece for a dozen large. If you look around, you're going to get amazing deals out there. Okay, you need some sort of a, a mixer. And I go for a wooden spatula because it's the best way to go. And just kind of get in there and mix it around. There you go. So it's got to be thoroughly mixed. Put the mic right on this. Mix, mix, mix. Now the, the kind of herbs you want to put in this would be garlic powder, onion powder, and dill weed. Remember dill weed is perfect in all kinds of different uh, ways. It's one of the best things for seafood. There you go, dill weed. Give it quite a few shakes. I'd say about a half a teaspoon. All right. And we'll go for the garlic powder. 
probably another half a teaspoon. And at the very end of this dish, you can use paprika. All right, so we take this mix that we have here and we put it in the, the container, the mold container. Okay. That looks perfect. Wow, I think I got the right container. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. We're looking good. Every last drop. You do not want to add any moisture to this because if you do, it won't set. It has enough moisture in the ingredients. No water or anything. You press it all in. Get it as level as you can get. These containers are perfect for this mold. Okay. Now, if you have some spray grease or anything, or butter or oil, I happen to have one of these atomizers. They're pretty nice. Just shake it up. Some of you people have certain muscles that you use a lot. There you go. Pump that up. Pump it up. Okay. And then you spray the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to use a ceramic uh, Corel ware from way back in the old days. I really like this particular stuff to bake in or to put in a microwave. It won't fit in a toaster oven, but it's a very good thing to use. So you want to get some oil on the base of this or butter or whatever. Otherwise, it's going to stick. All right. Cool. Now, I also add a little pepper on the top as well. So we'll be doing a little bit of pepper and a fresh grind. All right, so just take this thing like this and invert it like that. Okay, it's a little bit messy. It almost held the mold. For the most part, it's pretty good. Just kind of give it a little spatula like that. Okay. And then give it a few grinds of pepper. And a little bit of paprika for color. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put that in an oven. Now let's talk about the oven for a second. Uh, you do want to cover it with something, it's, even if you're doing it in a regular oven. You know, otherwise, it gets a little bit too uh, too covered. If you cover it with uh, aluminum foil, that's okay in an oven. What I'm going to do is cook it in a microwave. Now, in a regular oven, this would take about 30 minutes on 200 to 300 degrees in that area. In a microwave, it's going to take about 10 minutes. All right, so you're going to go over to the microwave. Turn on my emergency lamp here for lighting. Open the microwave. Put the dish in the microwave. It's got a little bit of air hole in it. And then set it up for 10, I'm going to go with uh, initially six minutes. Six minutes and take it up to 10 minutes on level eight. Now, if you've used microwaves before, you can adjust their power level right here. You've got to find the power level button, though. Anyway, so on a, a basically a not a real high high amount. Just if you're if you're running a 900 watt or an 800 watt microwave, you want to do a no more than. Uh, you can do maximum on that, but if you're running an 1100 microwave, I dropped it down to power level 8, which is more like a regular microwave. So if you're running a regular microwave, a small brand, 10 minutes is your time. All right, let's clean up. What do you say?
Let me get a little cleaning going on here. Wasn't that easy? That's a $2 loaf I just made. And the microwave, it's pretty amazing. It actually fuses all those ingredients together and makes an incredible uh, meal. And you can actually uh, serve it up for lunch or dinner. Pretty nice. It has vegetables in it. The egg is a binder and it kind of fuses with the bread. Now, when I use breadcrumbs, they're a lot tighter. So if you want a really tight loaf and you're pinching a really tight loaf into that mold, you definitely want to uh, get breadcrumbs. If you didn't like that kind of a rocky uh, whole grain look that I just had, if you don't mind that, then go ahead and get the, uh, the bread. The bread's good. And I don't think you can get non-GMO breadcrumbs. I've never seen any. I've been to health food stores. I'm still looking. All right, so we're going to put some compost down here. You can follow me down there with a the camera. You don't want to leave the salmon pieces out there to rot. So you want to rinse that salmon can, can out really well. Otherwise, it's going to smell your compost heap something fierce. So you got to rinse this can out pretty fast. You don't want that salmon smell in your compost piece, trust me. Hey, what's going on, man? We got the Hillary people. They're coming back in force. Welcome, Hillary people. You know, we had a lot of uh, Bernie people in right after Bernie, you know, kind of showed his, his, his net worth. People still love Bernie. They still feel, feel that Bernie should have run against Hillary and he would have beaten Trump. I think they're right. I actually think they're right. There were so many votes that didn't go to Bernie this election, and he put such a good campaign up against Hillary for the most part, except he was obviously a shill, that I think he could have won it. Seriously. A computer program ran an analysis about eight months ago and said Bernie was the winner. I don't think the analysis was carried out with, with the intent that Bernie was going to be a shill and just take another 600000 to buy another house. Oh, and a, a really nice $175,000 car. An Audi R8. Okay. We're going to make it all the way to 2020, guys. So we've got this thing rolling out. We're going to take a look at it in six minutes out of the oven. It's running hot right now, but the nice thing about this meal is you can throw it in the refrigerator and eat it later. You can even eat it cold. It's pretty easy and it's super fast. I, I use this same technique on the road when I'm uh, traveling. If I want to make a dinner in a microwave in a motel, it's fantastic. David, if I become homeless because of Trump, could I live with you and Sarah? No, no, because I'm going to be homeless soon myself. So we're all going to be homeless. Yeah. I'd, I'm probably going to try to sell and get out of this uh, area. I really don't want to live around here anymore. Uh, the jets in my area are just not working out. And I don't like the idea of having a lot of equity. So I want to be, uh, you know, kind of... I'd rather have a piece of property, frankly. You know, I just like I just like land, so I don't really need a house. But if you know, I, I tell you, if you are facing some adversity, start looking around right now uh, for a trailer or a a van or someplace that you can you know park your body. Seriously, I think it's the best thing you can possibly do. You can go on Craigslist right now, yeah, and then you can get a a really nice. Uh, even a used mobile home and put it on there and fix it up. There's a way of putting a cedar siding on the side of uh, old mobile homes and they look like cabins. It's kind of cool. No, I'm serious. It, it doesn't take a lot. A guy down the street from where I live bought his entire property and house for $50,000. 50, 50. 
and he re redid the roof. I'm sure he spent some money on that. He might have done it himself, but. Well, I don't know if I could relate to Gordon Ramsay. I'm a low salt cook. Uh, you notice I didn't add a lot of salt to that dinner. He's a big salter. And everyone knows that in order to be a good restaurateur, you have to salt like crazy and cause heart disease. You know, I just don't want to do that. I'm not that you know, kind of a person. I'd rather all of you ate a, a modest salted meal that tasted good. Will you stop bragging about my six pack? God, just because I work out all the time, you're just making a big issue of it. I know a lot of you are going to want me to do like a full on, uh, you know, photo shoot with, with somebody. It's coming, I can tell. So yeah, I've, I've been looking for, uh, you know, the right person to do it with. Because it has to, it can't be, it has to be modest. I can't wear Speedos or anything. Yeah. This light is kind of bright, isn't it? It's better when I just stand here. So, well, this has been a great cooking show. No, I don't, I'm not gay, so. We will be meeting you in the other room for uh, an amazing show coming up. We've got the Technology Thursday show lined up, but thank you very much. Two minutes and counting to finish this meal. You're bloated. Wow. Yeah, I've just, you know, I've been using all kinds of new techniques to lose weight. Uh, one of them is to actually stop eating. You look smarter in the dim light, yeah. I think you're right. I think a lot of the times my the lighting has been off on our show. I've been I've been watching our shows. And I notice that my eyebrows are just bleached out because I, people don't see my eyebrows because the light's so bright. Will I taste the loaf? Do you want me to? I know it's good. I don't have hardly any uh, wind. Most of the uh, most of the island is is pretty much very little wind here. Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. You don't mind if I just saturate with one compliment in the show. Suck it right in. A crust works. Oh, yeah. Save your crusts. Put them in a brown bag. Keep an eye on them until they're really dry, and then you can put them in the refrigerator. Raccoon eyes. Really? Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed David's Garden Kitchen. As you can see, I've got a, a wonderful fish here who is enjoying the dinner. We've got a, a, a really nice setup here. It's a wonderful overcast night here in the Washington state, I must say. So it's, it's great doing these uploads. I'll do the upload probably in a few minutes. I might have a couple minutes. Well, actually, I think I might upload it later. I usually do that. But then you're going to wait a long time because Sarah won't be back in the show till much later. She's going to be late tonight. Dave's Garden Kitchen, hanging out with Dave's Beta Fish. I'm the Alpha. He's the Beta. I keep him around just to make sure he understands who's boss. Why did everyone accept the lying beep Brian Williams on TV again? Because uh, people are known to lie on TV. That's why I didn't enter the industry. I had an option of becoming a newscaster in 1992. An opportunity opened up and it didn't, it didn't pan out. I didn't want to do it. I don't like the people. I mean, the, the attitude in, in Hollywood is just, it's, it's cutthroat. And it's why I left Hollywood. I was actually blacklisted in Hollywood for not being a Coke addict or a user. Yeah, you can see the people that are successful, like Elon Musk, he's a crackhead. He's a self-admitted crackhead. All the people that are successful are really into drugs, especially in Hollywood. So I don't know about Brian Williams. I'm not saying anyone in particular is a drug addict. I've never even said that Trump has any problem there. I just am concerned about his breathing problem where he snorts all the time. I think he may have a respiratory disorder. Okay, it's done. Hey, cool. Yay. Dave Samilov, let me pull it out. The $2 Samilov, this is a lot of food for two bucks. You will be surprised. Oh, it smells great too. Wow. Fantastic. 
take the top off. Revealing the top. Hey, what's going on here? My survival light. I better get new batteries in there. There they are. So let's take a look. Ta-da! Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Look at this. That is like practically meal for, I would say, one, two, three, four people. And it's perfect. It's done. And the egg makes it pull together. Let me uh, serve it up. Would you like? I make you a little dinner, huh? Would you like, huh? Okay. You pull a little bit off the side. Sarah doesn't like the egg, so I'll, I'll kind of just take both sides down with any, any egg that's pushed out. Yeah, she really does not like egg. She's, she's made it very clear she doesn't like egg. <laughs> and I used to cook with egg all the time. Look at that, man. Just take a look at that, man. That's a pretty nice salmon loaf in its entirety. All right, so I'm going to sign off and have a bite before you leave. I'm not tossing anything. That's dinner. Yeah. And that I can feed four people for two dollars. Let me taste it. Mmm. Oh my god, that's good. Mmm. Oh my I'm having a, a mouth gasm. Mmm. No no. Oh man. This is a food gasm in the works right now. Something about the flavors, they just melt. Mmm. Wow. So nobody's going to be disappointed in this dish. And you can refrigerate it and, and eat it cold if you want to. And put it on sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I'm a clean plater. Get a little nutrition. So it's about 20, 30 minutes on 200 to 300 on a regular oven. You can let it set in the oven, but if you don't cover it with tin foil, it will get dry. Okay. Amazing. I'm kind of blown away by the taste quality. And all the vegetables are al dente. Mmm. No, I'm not crazy. Are you? Mm. Let me pour you a, a rich cup of Colombian coffee. You know, my grandfather, he worked down in Bolivia, in Ecuador, in Colombia, helping raise the coffee bean. My grandfather spent 10 years down in all those countries. That's when he met my grandmother who was a world-class billiards champion. Okay, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put that plate right back on there. And we're good to go. I will see you guys in the show in a few minutes, maybe less than a minute. Signing off for the, uh, the $2 salmon loaf. Thank you for coming in, everyone. Take care.